One question from Camp Cretaceous Season 2 that has still yet been answered is who received the distress beacon right at the start at Episode 1? So hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today, and if you're not, I do hope it gets a lot better for you. In the meantime, if you haven't yet done so, do consider pressing that red subscribe button as we get closer to 80,000 subscribers, another milestone for 2021. And don't forget to also turn on the bell notification to stay up to date on all of the news and theories about Camp Cretaceous, Evolution 2 and Jurassic World Dominion. But in the meantime, let's get into the video. So Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2 did in fact end off with a few questions. Some of them were in fact answered in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, but some of them in Season 2 weren't answered at all. One of them being the Distress Beacon. In Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2's first episode, A Beacon of Hope, the kids discovered the park's main street had been taken over by the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which built a nest, and that the island's emergency beacon was part of her new home. Darius and Kenji risked their lives to enter the nest and they successfully activated the stress signal while the other campers worked together to lure the T-Rex away. However, only the audience are aware that the distress beacon did in fact work and that the signal was received by someone on the mainland. The kids didn't find out if their efforts succeeded but they believed at first that Mitch and Tiff received the signal and came to the rescue. At the end of Camp Cretaceous Season 2, the kids still aren't aware that the beacon was received. There is still hope that someone from InGen or Maserani Global, and perhaps even Roxy and Dave, will know that the kids were in fact left behind and eventually arrive to rescue these campers. Now as we know, the campers have in fact left the island at the end of season three, so they are on their way somewhere. Whether or not since we know that the Mosasaurus has now escaped, that will cause the factor to make them move back to Isla Nublar or even go to the mysterious island known as Isla Sauna. Some people are still speculating that they'll get back to the mainland, however with a dinosaur on board, I'm pretty sure they'll find out and say that they can't bring the dinosaur to the mainland, and maybe, ultimately, decide to go back to Isla Nublar, but accidentally stumble upon Isla Sauna instead. But as we were discussing, the beacon, why on earth was the beacon received by someone if we're not going to get information as to who it was? Originally, we did in fact speculate that maybe it was Manticorp that received this beacon, and as far as we know, Manticorp are aware that there is a Scorpius Rex alive on the island. Now as for the campers and the audience of Camp Cretaceous, we know for a fact that the Scorpius Rex has in fact died off. Both of them are now dead. There's speculation there could be a baby one on the island, however I don't think that's something to worry about at this point in time. Manticorp, the last time they saw something important on Isla Nublar was when the E750 Scorpius Rex dinosaur attacked the Manticorp drone whilst it was recording, and that was the last we saw of Manticorp. So eventually they are going to make an appearance. Now the whole reason why they may have in fact sent over another drone onto Isla Nublar is because they in fact received the distress signal instead. Otherwise I'm pretty sure the campers would have seen Manticorp trying to go back to Isla Nublar. Maybe after the fall of Isla Nublar, they realise there's nothing on the island anymore, we shouldn't go back to it. But in actual fact, they received the distress beacon and sent over the drone to look for whoever sent it, rather than the E750 dinosaur and instead came across that. Maybe they want to find out who sent the distress signal instead. Now again, that is just a theory for now, but that could be entirely the realistic case right here. They are not after the E750 dinosaur, but instead they are after whoever sent the signal. Now we are aware that Mitch and Tiff did not receive the signal at all, they even said they don't have any clue what that was and they just said they did, so that the campers would stop asking questions. Now if we were to move Manticorp aside and they didn't in fact receive the signal, who are some other candidates? Well as we know a season 4 is most likely going to happen in December time of 2021 according to the new rumours. And with it linking very very nicely to Jurassic World Dominion according to Colin Trevorrow, it's safe to say that maybe we could even see a few characters from the live action movies appearing in this animated show. We know that Jeff Goldblum and Bryce Dallas Howard both do voiceovers for Jurassic World Evolution and Jurassic World Evolution 2, so they are used to doing similar stuff like this. As far as I'm aware, I don't believe that Claire Deering and Ian Malcolm went to Isla Sauna, 
So eventually, if these two characters were to come into the animated show, they know exactly how to do voiceovers, but the actual characters themselves never state anywhere that they've been on Isla Sauna. Well, obviously, besides Ian Malcolm in 1997. But they have not stated that they have been to Isla Sauna since, especially Claire Deering. So why on earth would they skip over that piece of data in Fallen Kingdom? Well, there should be a way to connect Dominion and Camp Cretaceous that we currently don't know of and we probably need to wait for more information regarding Camp Cretaceous before we can do anything to link in it to Jurassic World Dominion. But this does leave the question, was the beacon really important? Because at the moment, with the campers leaving Isla Nublar, the beacon says that there's someone on Isla Nublar. So what's the point in moving the story away from Isla Nublar if that still hasn't been answered? Or maybe Manticorp could show up in Season 4, Season 5 for example, and say, we knew that there was somebody on the island, somebody sent out a signal and we received it. We've been tracking you for days and we finally get to see you now, and Sammy, you're coming back with us. What if Manticorp mercenaries say something of those sorts? That way it's a good way to answer who in fact sent out the beacon and received it, and whether or not it was important for the plotline because currently for season 3, it didn't have any purpose to the plotline at all, and for season 2, it was merely just a way to, to start off the second season and also have a little bit of a lion moment for Mitch and Tiff in season 2 as well to trick the campers. At this point in time, we don't really know what happened to the stress signal and whether or not this is an important signal at all. To me personally, it must be important to the plotline in some way, shape or form, but with them leaving Isla Nublar, I'm not sure how important it is going to be. Maybe it's just a minor comment that will be passed along with whoever actually received it later in Season 4 or Season 5. At this point in time, we don't know if it's important, hopefully it is to the plotline, but again, leaving Isla Nublar when the signal was on Isla Nublar, it's a little bit tricky to understand as to why they continued the story like that. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, do consider pressing the like button and let me know your thoughts of the distress signal down in the comment section down below. If you haven't yet done so, do consider pressing that red subscribe button, but in the meantime, stay safe out there, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.